Okay. Are we recording now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Did you do the intro music and stuff? I add that later. I didn't even do oh. my intro. Yeah. No, nah, we're recording now. We're oh, recording wow. now? Okay. Yeah. How about now? <laughs> There's a truck going by. <laughs> yeah. How about now? All right. Hey, Skeeter. So, um, hey, I don't, we don't know how this is going to work, but this is episode what of Growing Up Alice? Seven? Two. Seven? God. Five. You're so dumb. Three? I think it's four. Maybe. Maybe. We haven't done one for a couple of years. Seven? A couple of years. All right. So we're, um, we're sitting in the deck of our treehouse in Sevierville. <laughs> Seversville. Seversville? So, Kelby, tell the people what city we're in. Sire. Seer, Searsville. Sears, Sever, Seversville, Tennessee. Severs? Niche. Where are we at? We're in Sevierville, Tennessee. Sevierville? Sevierville. Why is it Sevierville? Freak has been because I can it. read. Freak has been saying it wrong. It's Seversville. Three <laughs> Every time I Google Seversville, it pulls up. Yeah, that's good. If only there was a machine <laughs> to look up how to pronounce things. All right, so we're we're if sitting only... in the treehouse. It's outside. It's raining. We're surrounded by um, trees with purple, pink flowers and tree houses in Sevierville. And um, we're going to do our podcast, so... Um, Let's start with why we're here. Who would like to tell the people why we're on this trip? Well, I think the person who picked this trip probably ought to tell them. Okay. About this one? <laughs> <laughs> that goes back to Skeeter. Back well, to you, gonna Skeeter. Pass it around. <laughs> All right, so here's what I recall. At some point, the three of us had a conversation or discussions about when we turned 50 going on a trip together. That, do you recall when? Actually, I'll take that back a little farther. Originally, me and my wife were going to take a trip. We were going to go Whoa. to Cooperstown, New York, and go okay. to the Baseball Hall of Fame, because I'd always wanted to go to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Well, at some point, she mentioned, why don't you take Frika and Skeeter and go to the Baseball Hall of Fame? That would be a better trip for you guys. Mm-hmm. And then I Here threw it out to the group when we did a Facebook chat one night, and we decided that that would be a good idea. So last year, when the other wives didn't say no, (laughs) we decided we went last year at the same time and we went to Cooperstown, New York, went to the Baseball Hall of Fame, stayed in Cooperstown, had a good time. Did we? Mm. Yeah. Good time. That's that's relative. There were many hours in a van with a certain person (laughs) in the back seat. (laughs) Way too many hours in the van. Was not. But. Always pleasant. I thought we made this this decision a long time ago. We did. That we would go on trips. Yeah, we kind of made the decision after we said, you guys said, yeah, let's go to Cooperstown. We started planning it, and then that's kind of when we somebody threw out one, we all, each do one. All right. Because we're all turning 50 within about a year of each other. Yeah. All right. And so we're all kind of taking turns, so right? So Nisha chose Cooperstown. Good time. I chose I wanted to go in the woods somewhere. In the mountains and stay and in stay a, in a freaking treehouse and we are sitting in a treehouse it's in the middle of the smoky mountains it's pretty awesome it's and, unbelievable uh, that that was your dream and it like happened yeah i'm like a make-a-wish kid and you guys <laughs> help with that. hell yes <laughs> you are no is that gonna be cut <laughs> i'm a wake make-a-wish adult that's a thing isn't it oh my god <laughs> freaking can't stop laughing Oh, well, I don't mean any disrespect for those of you who are actually make a wish. No offense. Isn't that what you say when you've offended somebody? No. <laughs> no, I'm not stopping, Gelby. We're going to keep talking. So anyway, uh, we'll, we'll have some pictures post. up. You can see some pictures on my Instagram and Facebook stuff of where we're at. But it's pretty awesome. And uh, you see, Verveerville is just outside of Gatlinburg. Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge. Or about, what, 20 minutes to Pigeon Forge? South yeah. of Knoxville, Tennessee, the home of the greatest quarterback to ever mm-hmm. play. That's not his home. Where and yesterday, college? we traveled into Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg because Skeeter had never been there before. Yeah, and I wanted to shoot pigeons. Didn't work, did it? No, it turns out Pigeon Forge, they don't have a free pass to shoot pigeons. <laughs> 
Freaking what sucks. was your initial thought when we got into Pigeon Forge driving through breakfast? Uh, Dell's Carnival. Slightly on the trashy side. With all the shops and the stuff. But I get it. I think it's cool. It's mm -hmm. not the kind of stuff I love to do. But yeah. um, I thought Gatlinburg was cool. How about the drive into Gatlinburg? Gatlinburg. The drive in scared that? the crap out of me. But let's talk about scary things. We went up on this thing called the Sky Bridge. And we have to get on a, it's a ski lift, right? Pretty you have much. to get on a ski lift yeah. and go up this big mountain. And um, why were you two so scared? Like, Dude, why uh, were you no, hanging on? No way. Like well, begging I, a, for I the do stop. have a uh, slight fear of heights, so that does bother me. But... I do white knuckle things like that a little bit, but Skeeter white knuckle that the was whole amazing. way and couldn't believe he was even doing it. That was Did not. That was something I totally learned about you. I never knew that you were like fearful of I don't even think it is it heights. Are you fearful of heights or the like falling or it's not openness heights. or it was I like crazy. tall buildings. I would like to be on the top of the mountain. I wasn't comfortable with hanging in the sky un, un a few connected metal bars. to anything. I don't think you metal moved. Bar. You didn't, unless I, like, I made you turn around one time, and I think that was it. You didn't yeah, you face was... forward and didn't move all the way up, yeah. except to check and make sure your shoes were still on. I, I, I think at one point, uh, <laughs> I smelled urine. I may have dribbled a bit. <laughs> in my state but i i had no idea i'd be that anxious um yeah i actually did think until we were on our way there that it was a drive up to the top of the mountain no that was and, uh, i knew it was a ski lift it that freaked me out so that was skeeter's first time and my first time on the sky bridge and i thought it was really cool like it was it's just neat how they built that and really i mean it's kind of it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just amazing. It's just, it's just hanging there, and it what we it was like six hundred feet across. Six hundred eighty. Six hundred eighty feet across. Get your stuff together. How do you not know exactly <laughs> what it is? And what it is like one hundred forty feet in the air. Yeah, yeah. What I didn't like was the um, how much it moved. It did move a lot. That, I didn't enjoy the walk across. Nisha did say it was not going to move that much. Yeah, you lied. And I talked to my wife last night and she said <laughs> it didn't move that much either and i said well it moves a lot now mm -hmm. well, i think what, it's breaking in said. i oh. think it's breaking in a little bit i actually thought niche had gone ahead of us because he was ahead of us a little bit was jumping and rocking. was rocking it on purpose no, nope. to freak me out I, w I was intentionally walking not wanting to hold on to the edge because that I felt more secure that way, but then it was rocking yeah. so much, I would grab the edge yeah, a little bit. It freaked me out. But if you're ever in this area, go see that. It's real There cool. were a lot of people on um, it. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, pretty awesome. I thought it was cool. Like, good views up there, though, and, and cool places to sit, like patio areas. You know, we got to sit around a, a fire and just kind of hang out and yeah. talk and look out over Gatlinburg, which was cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, let's talk about our pipe smoking. Briefly. So I got um, Rika and Nish engraved custom pipes just for coming with me. It was my, my gift. And we don't know how to smoke them, and I'm struggling um, keeping it burning. I did fine. Well, look I at had, you. I don't know what your problem was. I had issues. Yeah, we had issues, right? So yeah. if anybody out there, the, the people that listen to this... <laughs> After the podcast, I'll tell you what I did. We need to know how to keep us... A pipe. I was gonna say cigar. Yeah. How to keep the pipe smoking? Smoke yeah. How to? How do? How do you? <laughs> how do you keep your pipe smoking? How do you keep your pipe? Yeah, smoking? that is an important topic that men should yeah. have. <laughs> I guess. I guess Skeeter felt the need to uh, get us pipes because we're all now fifty years old. I thought it would be. I thought it would be a cool thing. Now. A cool thing to try. I thought we were gonna start a Sherlock Holmes business. <laughs> Sherlock or his brother John? Because <laughs> we we ain't starting that business. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh, his this, long lost brother John. Yeah, so this one might just be for us. He's, 
He's definitely long lost. <laughs> really long, long lost. and lost. <laughs> okay, this is going well. <laughs> this is the greatest thing we've ever done. Well, Skeeter. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about the place we're at? I already did. Tell us about the treehouse. Have you Dude, been paying I think attention? we should give him serious advertising. This has been an amazing place. Isn't right. it the Sanctuary Treehouse in Sevierville? Se- Seversville? Severe, Severeville. <laughs> in a Severeville? Severeville. Yeah, Honestly, right? guys, how many times were you dropping things? <laughs> Honestly. A lot. My dad yeah. stepped on my head, as we've determined. <laughs> yeah, so true. that's the first time I've heard that story. story. Yeah, yeah. That's a good story. Good job, Bill. Um, it's good called job. Sanctuary Treehouse, and if you're looking for a place to stay, this is the place. Yeah. Uh, they're it new. Is. Spectacular. Yeah, they're, like, planning to expand to, like, what? There's about maybe 10 treehouses now. Yeah, they're, uh, they're expanding up to 130 or so. Yeah, like it's going to be. count to 10. And it's amazing. Just looks out over like woods and on one side there's a golf course that like a championship level golf course that you get to overlook and watch semis drive through <laughs> yeah we saw a semi drive through a golf course today so it's pretty it's great it's two levels bottom level with tables chairs uh all kinds of cool stuff and upstairs is a deck and you're they've, they've done a cool thing with small spaces. comes with a, what about a 15 20 foot slide that yeah. goes from the top to the bottom Escape hatches, yeah. Uh, uh, a beer, a beer can shooter from yeah. the top floor to the bottom, or it doesn't have to be beer. It and has a king bed, yeah. but a hot dog in it, and two twins. So beds. the owners of the place, through Skeeter's contact with them, like promised him a beer, a beer like beers in the fridge, local beers in the fridge, a steak dinner. So and when we showed up, they had marinated steaks, left them in the fridge. Twice baked potatoes for us to. There's a grill out on the patio area, the decking area, and so they provided us with a steak dinner. It was really cool. Yeah, we've we've uh, we've been happy. Um, so you can tell we're we're just sort of randomly throwing out topics because we we didn't plan very well. Um, this is for my our buddy Flamer. We just need to throw out LeBron James or Michael Jordan just quickly. Oh, definitely. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Six championships, six years. Yeah. Missed six games in those six years. If he wanted to, he could have played for like 25 years. Yeah, he didn't need to. He didn't want to. And the year and a half he quit basketball, Yeah, he probably would have had two more championships in there. Yeah, probably ten more. Probably. In those two years. (laughs) He would play. (laughs) uh, The math checks out. He (laughs) <laughs> he would play in the NBA. He'd go back to school and get his degree, so he gets a college championship. <laughs> it's an Olympic year. Would have gotten more. He's Olympics. got three. Mm-hmm. He also plays in one year of college. He ends up in the NIT because his players aren't any good. He wins the NIT at the mm-hmm. championship. Hmm. Speaking of basketball, oh, we need to discuss women's basketball, Frika. <laughs> yeah. So we were telling Frika the last couple of days how how good Caitlin Clark is he didn't quite agree because he hadn't seen her play and we were trying to tell him what she's done to women's college basketball and basketball in general so Frika you were skeptical that's the word I'm gonna it's the worst thing I'm gonna say about all of the things you yeah. said <laughs> we watched women's basketball last night almost the whole game Iowa yeah. and Oklahoma isn't that who they played West Virginia. No, West Virginia. Well, Iowa, West Virginia. Did you watch the game? I wasn't paying attention. You were on your phone most of the time. Like, Whatever. I don't think Why weren't you, you like... I watched the whole thing. I don't think you like women's basketball. I said you weren't paying attention. I love it. I'm all in. No, you weren't. You were on I'm your phone I'm wearing a WNBA time. jersey right now, and everybody knows You were not. Gelby, after watching one game, mm-hmm. has your um, enjoyment, respect, entertainment level... Skepticism. Skepticism. Are you, has it has it increased? You feel I would say better it's about the product. Yes. I would say it's increased. I was I was I've honestly I have not watched any women's basketball in forever. Why not? It's because why not? I didn't honestly. I stopped watching a lot of basketball. I didn't I haven't watched the NBA, the WNBA. Watched a little bit of college basketball, especially when it gets to tournament time. But I just haven't watched basketball as much. But you currently can see why. Iowa was electric last night. There you go. See, that's it progress. It was electric. They were 
yeah, there was a lot of good basketball on the floor. There, the crowd was behind it. There was a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Very good. So here's the big question. Yeah. Caitlin Clark probably going to be drafted to the Indiana Fever, playing okay. downtown Indianapolis. Are you willing to go to a Fever basketball game with me and Nish to see Caitlin Clark play? Would you do it? You Are said you no 24 ticket? hours ago. Are you buying the ticket? <laughs> um, I don't even buy you a Coke. <laughs> Why would I buy you a ticket? I'll buy you... I'll pay one eighth of the ticket. I one eighth. I will pay one eighth of his eight. Does that make it a sixteenth <laughs> or two eighths? <laughs> one eighth of me do the math. <laughs> one eighth of my eighth is the sixteenth. Wouldn't that be like a hundred and four? Oh wait, is it a quarter? You cut it in half? I don't know. Oh, welcome to Math Corner. <laughs> Wait, we totally forgot what our main topic is. Well, you're right. We haven't gotten to that yet. Yes, it's... I would. I'll go to the WNBA game with you All next right. year. That's progress. Okay. And be I, yeah. Because okay. of that, we will not repeat some of the things you discussed about lady basketball. Because now it you're solid. you're it a fan. Good. Yeah, a fan. she can shoot. She can shoot. That was it. Was impressive. Cool. She can shoot. I tell you what, though, there was there were a lot of players around her that were. Doing a lot of the grunt work for her. I was impressed with them mm. as well. So you're saying Caitlin Clark's not any good? I think she is good, but I think <clears> she gets all the notoriety and which detracts from some of the team. So you're saying you could beat her in a three point contest? That's what I'm hearing. Maybe a free throw contest. I'd have no. to go back to uh you know, where'd we where'd we always go shoot? Vigo school? No. Oh, four lakes. Four lakes we shot there. No, we went to the place behind Craig Park. That was it, Washington. Washington. Oh, yeah. Washington. We we did yeah. it, Washington. If I went back to those forms, yeah. I can Niche, you know if that school still open? Uh, the school is not open anymore. No, is that it's basketball still court still there? I believe it is. Mm -hmm. You need to check it out. Let's go. We can go do it. Uh, speaking of Vincennes, Niche brought us bulbs. Yes. He messed up and brought it from Sixth Street. Nope. Uh, nope. Which pretty much um, is the reason I spent the whole night vomiting. After I ate it, throwing <laughs> no, up profusely. No. Now, I figure two out of three of us prefer Sixth Street. No, I'm pretty sure I don't no, acknowledge no, 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 that. No. Virtually every comment, all three of them to the podcast over the years, were for Sixth Street votes. Main Street. It's Main Street by far. <clears throat> let's Street. let's take a vote, but you guys don't get the vote. It's Main Street. Sixth Street. Okay. Boom. Okay, Nailed so it. next topic. Um, Sixth Street votes. No. <laughs> no. Main Street. <clears throat> Uh, let's get to the serious business here. Okay, six, three, There's three. something that the three of us have all done in the last few months. Didn't do it together, unfortunately. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm glad we didn't do it together. <laughs> so this segment is called Colonoscopy Corner. Colonoscopy uh, Corner. Uh, so guys out there. Dude, you got Every get... guy. Let me tell you something. Come up with a jingle for let's, that. Let's <laughs> talk about our health. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone that's listening to this, if you're 45, 45. or above, yeah, get you a colonoscopy, please. Or bleeding it's when time. you poo. Well, yours is more of an emergency <laughs> yeah. colonoscopy, Scott. Dude, so right. here, here within the last three months, we all have gotten our colonoscopies mm -hmm. done. Yep. And it was not planned that way. It just kind of happened. That Two way. of us were planned. We were going to get it done. I, mine was planned, and yeah. I was the first one to go. And yeah. uh, mine was done right before Christmas. A nice Christmas present to have a shame. Uh, it's a wonderful Christmas present. I, I left a wonderful present in the toilet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All night long. Oh, mine was the right color for Christmas. <laughs> Ooh. Is that, yeah. So, is that crap? mine was also planned. And crazy thing was, I planned it, like, right before this trip. Uh, yeah, I believe it was, like, what, Thursday before the trip? Yeah. Or Wednesday <laughs> before the trip. Yeah. Yeah. And so I only had like I had like twenty four hours to recover from all that stuff before we were jumping in a van and heading this way, and it's it's created some interesting moments. It's weird that you just had one like Thursday, but that when we got here, you asked us to give you another one. Now, that's weird. <laughs> that yes, I found, that is very weird. I found that strange. 
it was very strange also when he asked for us to go ahead and do the prostate exam while we're there. And uh, we had to inform him that uh, during your colonoscopy, they will go ahead and do the prostate I, exam. Yeah, that's actually that's, true. That's that something is true. I didn't know. Yeah, they will do the prostate exam. They're already there. Yeah. All right, let's go through. Let's go through Skeeters. I don't want to go first. You don't want to go you first? You went first, so you should go first. Okay. Give us a short recap of your experience of my experience well my experience with my colonoscopy was uh i was the first one out of us so i had nothing to reference on so i just had to follow the doctor's instructions and i followed them to a t and everything was coming out really quickly like it should so i get there in the morning and the first thing they ask is is it clear yep yeah. it's clear Good. Good job. And then, like I said, they wheel you in there. They uh, put you out for about 15 minutes. That's why I'm saying, guys, this is Seriously. not a big deal. Best sleep Best ever. 15 minutes you yep. ever sleep. Best sleep You ever. wake up, and it's done, and it's over with, and you go home and clean bill health, finally right? get to eat. Yep. Yeesh, clean? Yep. Clean bill of health. All well, good? Clean, for, except for one polyp on me. Yeah. They found one polyp, and he said, non-cancerous, but if it had gone several more years it Who would have could have yeah. been cancerous yeah so that's the point of us all getting a colonoscopy is to make sure we're all good to go uh yeah. did you get to keep the camera uh no but i did get pictures and by You're the way the guys, guys, i pictures. think i've told told one or two of you that i thought about sending those out as christmas cards um those pictures will be posted to tiktok and instagram <laughs> shortly if you'd like to see inside of Ryan Phillips's and my OnlyFans page right. is <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what, guys? If they just had a device that you could post pictures oh, online, where everybody could see it. Only a device we could learn Isn't about. Is there a new site things. called Only Colons? Only Colons. <laughs> uh, why are we not starting this? <laughs> That's our business. You ask what our business should be. We could. Only Colons. Only Colons, and people post their colonoscopy, people. and they pay yeah. to see others too. <laughs> see what it's like. Got. Hey, look, I don't care if it's fetish. <laughs> We're making money on this. <laughs> only Colons. Sign up now at onlycolons.com and receive a free gift bag so, of Miralax. <laughs> of Miralax. <laughs> oh, so, Lordy. Sponsored by what? Turbolax. <laughs> <laughs> so my colonoscopy experience was very good, yep. and I got the clean bill of health, and I don't have to have another one for seven years. That's awesome. It's so, so strange that you asked us to give you one, too. Yeah. Well, I'd like to have a follow-up appointment. Yeah. So All right, I, you want I me believe, to go because you, I, I was next. You were next. But here's right. the thing, though. I was scheduled next. All right, do you want to tell your I story? I was the one I was supposed to go next. There's not much of a story. Ryan, <laughs> he's covered it pretty well. Go ahead. What was your um, drinking the stuff like? Dude, I was, it was easy for me. Like, I mixed all the, the Miralax stuff with Gatorade, and I chugged it right down, and it came right back out as <laughs> quickly. It, <was, laughs> it was pretty crazy. So, uh but no, I didn't. I did, you know, just kind of hung tight and stayed close to the bathroom and got rid of everything. That was honestly, that was probably the worst part of it was just sure. that day Gross. and not eating. I was so hungry by the end of the day, just starving. That was the worst part of it. Did either one of you not quite make it to the restroom and have an accident? I was guys, clear. Guys, I made it every time. We're going to have a serious talk for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> when, uh, when you take. Dopalax and yeah. 64 ounces of Gatorade mixed with Miralax. A fart is not a fart. <laughs> you feel that coming on? This is a public dash, service message. Dash to the nearest restaurant. Yes. Because you will not make it if you try to let that thing squeak out. <laughs> very nice. Well said. Educational. That was very educational. Basically providing uh, medical education for adult good. males 45 to 50 years old. I suffered for you. <clears throat> yeah. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> Definitely nothing to be scared of, though, through all of it. There were some yeah. uncomfortable moments, but nothing to be scared of. Definitely. And I think it's important. Very important to get it done. I know there's a lot, of, you know, especially after having it, I've talked to people before that said they're so glad they did it because it saved their lives. You know, where they found yeah. stuff, they've you know they've been able to take care of take care of that at an early stage because it has saved them. So yeah, 
there's a good buddy of mine that when we go to Colts games behind me, he's been kind of talking it for a couple of years now. So I finally got it done. So I was, he was one of my first texts to shoot out to him that, Hey, got it taken care of and clean bill of health. So. Yeah, it's weird. There's no, like, I have a fear of hospitals and pain. There's no zero pain at all. There's right, uncomfort yeah. of, um, I think we all, I think we all yeah. talked about it and we all were more fearful of the prostate exam than we were yeah. the, 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 colonoscopy the colonoscopy and come to find out they just do that while they're there. Yeah. It's like a well, double. Out. Yeah. It's like when you bought a pie last night, you got buy one, get one free and you didn't even know it. I know. <laughs> you get, <laughs> yeah. It's it's totally like, like that. It's like you yes. bought a pie and they gave you a prostate exam. You're like, cool. <laughs> thanks man. Got it done. Yeah. It's so, amazing. Yeah. So if you're scared of the prostate exam, just alone just get scheduled a, colonoscopy get a colonoscopy all take care of and it's how about done. for our only colons.com we give a key lime pie for like the first 10 subscribers because mm. after you've had the colonoscopy you need to replenish your key lime we, we it, it key would lime have pie. it would have to be a key lime pie no chocolate pies no no because that could be confusing yeah. <laughs> a little bit that's funny yeah. So, but I did get mine and clean bill of health, totally clean. I don't that's have cool. to do anything for 10 more years. So, so that's that Skeeter, cool. when did you have your scheduled for? It was scheduled probably for April or May, but I got boosted up. My calendar moved up mm -hmm. thanks to um, an eruption inside of <laughs> my, somewhere inside of me. <laughs> somewhere in your gullet. Yep. Yes. So I told this story on my other podcast. So I'm going to make it short. I'll stick to the colonoscopy part. I was in the hospital for a few days. And one of the things I had to do was a colonoscopy. And um, and the prostate exam. Well, yeah. And I ate, I ate a key lime pie during <laughs> While, I don't think that's yeah. true. I had an IV of blood, liquids, and key lime pie. <laughs> shooting, <laughs> shooting right through. Um, my biggest struggle was... Um, I got started late. I'd already been in the hospital for, I think, three days and didn't feel great. And, um, they started me drinking the stuff at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys know me, except for I've been pretty good this week, but I'm generally in bed by 8, 8.30. So to start that process at 9 and already feeling like pretty rough, I didn't get it done, threw up, got sick, freaked out. Um, so finally they let me stop. <laughs> And start over. <laughs> I got to sleep. So I started over drinking this stuff. I had three hours. I don't know if what your time frame was. I had three hours with the clock going. To get all 64, to 64 get ounces? Oh, I had uh, four liters. Where? Somebody do some math. That's quite a bit. If only we had a device. If only we had a device. Could tell us device. Device. Ounces. Two ounces. What would that be? If anybody out there listening wants to invent a device that allows us to ask questions and it returns answers get cracking on it dude you'll make uh, millions i didn't get to mix it with anything um and it was rough but i got it done in three hours they wheeled <laughs> me down um the doctor turns out knew me so that was fun <laughs> we're chit-chatting about work and stuff and she's you know down there <laughs> in the nether <laughs> regions <laughs> yeah but it was interesting because yeah. mine you know like you guys i was awake but it was just room with an incredible amount of equipment and like this giant monitor. Yeah. Um, I was already, they took me down, still hooked up to IVs and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so it felt like I was getting surgery. Um, but the nice uh, nurse or tech or whatever that walked me through it, she was amazing. She said, they're going to put this stuff in your IV and you're going to be out in a second. They did. And, that was uh, true. I both was times shocked. they put me out, she told me, I think she said, sweet dreams or <laughs> something like that. Um, but I woke up, no problem at all. Um, just like you guys, clear, no Didn't issues. Didn't you say, this one's the hysterectomy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they asked me to do it again. I said no. They said they really liked what they saw. <laughs> sort of wanted to go exploring, and I'm like, I'm pretty tired. I need to go back to my room. But uh, I found it strange that when you wake up, you're fine. There's yeah. no pain. There's no discomfort. Yeah. There's nothing, and they just wheeled me back up like nothing happened. Um, like I had, there was a, like, I, I got put out when I was like in my 20s. I had a little minor surgery type thing, and I remember waking up from that, and I was just like 
dizzy and puking everywhere and it was it was a horrible wake up and like this one nothing at all it, it was really just like i took a nap yeah like I, one, I, of the, one of the best naps ever yeah i think i think they put me in a recovery room and 15 minutes later they said go ahead and get dressed you can get out of here yeah i mean yeah, I, it's not long i think they were begging you to leave probably that could be that could be yeah, I got to go wheel back to my room for another three days. <laughs> yeah. and oh, needles. That's, that's and have yeah. somebody wait on you hand and foot for three days. Yeah, yeah. it was like that. Waiting on yeah. means knocking on the door and saying, <laughs> got to take your blood. And they jam a needle in me. And then an hour later, they got to take my vitals. And then yeah. they got to give I, me blood. I find that weird that they give you blood, but they take blood. Let's discuss. Mm-hmm. I found it super ironic that I was in the mm-hmm. hospital because I was losing blood, yet every 10 minutes <laughs> they were removing blood from me. Couldn't, I it, think it, it was a me. scam. I think they're making money off of you. You think? Yeah. I just I thought that was strange. I remember yeah. um, thinking about that. I think they have, a, they have a chart in there that says, how much blood can we take? And still keep them alive. And still keep them Isn't alive. Isn't there a nursery rhyme, how much blood can a woodchuck chuck? Woodchuck could chuck blood? No. 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 I'm remembering that wrong. Yeah. You might want to cut that one. Freaka, a couple minutes ago, you said that you had surgery or something in your 20s. Mm-hmm. Was that to fix your face? Because the tail. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Wow. That's good. <laughs> All right. So is that good for... Hey, was that, on the, the was, was that on the list of things you were going to discuss? <laughs> your face? Yeah. Did you have that written down? No. We one have one of the topics of discussion? There's zero written down here. But we'll wrap up Colonoscopy Corner with, guys, go do it. Do it. Do it sooner than do later. It. Nothing to be scared of. Ryan, I want you to use your best Arnold Schwarzenegger impression to tell a man to get a colonoscopy. You must get a colonoscopy. <laughs> be a good neighbor. I don't think this get, is what any of us wanted, is it? Get in the chopper. Get a colonoscopy. colonoscopy. Is this what we wanted? This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> is this, what? this is how we talk. Give me your hand. We'll go to the chopper. <laughs> it's... Oh my gosh. Um, this one comes with a disclaimer. Yeah, we're going to have yeah, to. We got to. Let's do a short since this is hey, about. The sun's coming out. Yeah. Um, Sweet. Growing up, Alice's and Indiana stuff. Colts for next season. How you guys feeling? I like the moves we made. We didn't make any moves. We Jesus. kept a lot of people that we could have lost. Yeah. So we kept the same team that didn't make the playoffs. That overachieved and last games. year. Last year, all of us anticipated two to three, <laughs> two, two to three <laughs> wins, and we got That's what true. nine. Yeah. So we way overachieved last year, and we're bringing that most of that team back. Plus, well, we're going to well, build on the draft. I, I think the problem is we had Gardner Minshew. He's not there. Is that a problem? That is a problem. Because we were looking for he's the one that got us those nine wins. We were also Helped looking get us pretty there. dynamic with AR when we had him for that what? brief stint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for like a game and a half. Yeah. We had him for three. Was it three or two? Three, two like and a half. Games. Two and a half, three games. Not enough. He, he, yeah, not enough. He looks exciting. He, potential is there. He looks exciting. So it's almost like we have a rookie quarterback again, but so, he's not. He's so, got so a full the, year of building. So the thing I'm watching, worried about is waiting. that we get – we got rid of a guy mm-hmm. that helped to get us to those nine wins, and we're bringing in a different guy that was "quote unquote" retired last year, but came back and was pretty solid. Went, well, okay. The I'm guy that's you. likely to play the most amount of games is a forty-five-year-old former Super Bowl champion. Why do you? Th- are you giving up on AR already? Like you don't think he's no, going to make it? I think. Well, I think. Like, I think the potential is very high for you. Don't think anyway. you think he's going to get hurt? And- Dude, we started this podcast. It's freaking cloudy and freezing and raining, and now the sun is blinding my retinas. <laughs> do they have a colonoscopy version for your eyeballs? Um, eyeballoscopy? I can do it. Like to go, <laughs> like to go in there and make sure your eyes are good. I believe we had that discussion the other night. There is no when it comes to eyeballs. No. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, back to the cold. Sorry, I got distracted by that bright thing in the sky. <laughs> Fiery ball. All right, let's make quick predictions right now based on our team record. Mm. There's 17 games. I'm going to go, again, another crap season of 9-8. and eight. And Joe Flacco plays 50% of the season. Rika? Mm. I'm liking 10 wins. 
and we're in it. <coughs> we're in it for. I don't know. Is she hurt? I don't know if she's hurt or not. Oh, her dad's there. <laughs> Ten wins. Somebody fell down the stairs. <laughs> Just nope, now. Nope, they went down the slide and fell right off the slide. Oh, the they flew off the slide? Yeah. Oh, I'm so embarrassed right now. Ryan, stop staring. Ten wins. Let's act like you're sure she's, Yeah, she's, she's a she little are. kid. She's crying. Mm. <laughs> All right, you why, got ten wins, Freaka. Why is that funny? Why? I don't know. This girl just flew down the slide, flew off, landed on the concrete. We just, somehow funny. <laughs> we just watched her and started laughing. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. You We're said born. 10 wins. <laughs> Rika? It's <laughs> niche. What are you? I can't. Mm. I got to go back to. I think. Daisy. I think AR is going to play a total of. I'm going to say six games. I think so. Yeah. I think six games. I think he was going to. Yeah. I think he'll start the season. I think he'll. Have some sort of ankle thing that's going to drag on all season long, and then he's going to hurt something else. He'll come Ooh, back on so and off. Negative. And Very detailed with this. And then uh, I, I think Joe Flacco's going to end up playing. And I think are you working our, with the mob? I think it's going to be a six-win season. Oh. All right, so I got nine. Ten. He's got ten. Nish has six. I probably I'm not going to say more. we're going to win the division, but I think we have a chance at the playoffs. And actually get in this time. I think the wild card. I think the AFC South is going to be a horrible division. I think if if the Jaguars don't turn things around again, isn't this Colts stuff? Everybody, why are you talking about the Jaguars? Everybody in the AFC South is going to be under five hundred. Everyone, all of us. Yep. Dang, man! You want to bet on it? I would put money on it. Yeah. All right, eight dollars. Eight dollars it is. Yeah, and he pays one eighth of yes. your of my eight. <laughs> of your eight? And you pay a third of my quarter. I will Venmo that to you as soon as the season's over. I can't wait to Venmo. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Venmo. I love Venmo. Too. I'm gonna name the new puppy Venmo. Can I just send it's you guys a dollar every you week? Should. Venmo you a dollar. Yeah. It's gotta have a just great to give you a message. It's gotta have a great message to it. Yes. Awesome. Um, message. All right, Nish, I know you don't I don't think you have any questions answers for this, but any Vincent scoop? I'll lead you down a path because uh, I'm Bob Costas of the podcast world. <laughs> I don't know what that means. No, Al Michaels. No, that guy that did the um, hockey call for Russia. I think that was Al Michaels. That was Al Michaels. Yes. Yeah, I'm him. Um, are there any new restaurants mm. in the city of Vincennes? Nothing, nothing major. Nothing closed. No, nothing major. It's just kind of the, still the same Vincent. Is Lick still open? It is yes. still open, yes. I still go there. Every time I go For there. For real? I, yeah, I'll grab uh, ice cream on the way out Look there. the same? Yep. yep. Still have the same rainbow sign? Yep. Yep. Can I get a chocolate malt there, or have they gotten rid of those? I think so. They still have them. Yeah. Um, is the Pizza Hut open? It, it it has moved locations. That's one of the new things. Is it still a sit-down restaurant, or is it, it just It is a, not. It's just a little kiosk down there. That's cool. Yeah. So what about Blockbuster Video? <laughs> That has not been in business no? uh, for about 20 years. Uh, what about free play? Oh, it went out of business man. a long time ago. God, what about that place we used to walk to and eat Snickers bars and play video games? Do you remember? At Clark? We used to oh, walk yeah. down uh, the video uh, store there. Down, the corner the video across store. from the old... Uh... Yeah, I know it. But our, our lunch every day was like candy bars, and then the rest of our lunch went towards playing one of the video games. Yeah, something there. like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, that's where most of our lunch went. That's probably why our, we all needed colonoscopies, is because our lunches were Snickers bars. We did not do a good job beating our fiber by two years. No, yeah, and it's not like it's gotten much better. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've done better. Uh, oh, this, yeah? yeah? The whole pie? Does that recall anything? Dude, I did eat a whole done better. bunch of <laughs> yeah, pie, whole pie last night. whole pie 14 Diet Cokes. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. It's a good thing they're Diet Cokes. Hey, I got yeah. a clean bill of health. I'm going after That's it. true. We can kind of all eat whatever we want. Could because our insides are clear. Um, yep. Dang it, I had another question. You guys talk amongst yourselves while I think. <laughs> My gosh. So, uh, I, we're going to be looking for someone else to travel with us next year. A third person niche. Yeah. Um, should we open this up? Oh, should for, we open uh, next year? Where are we going? 
Yeah. Tell them your next year's Freakus trip, and we're going to be podcasting from there. So I've got a couple ideas. <clears throat> um, one of them is going to be Washington, D.C., because I don't believe either of you have been there, right? I've not been right. to the and I, and I love land of our birth. DC. What? Wait, that's Plymouth Rock, where we were first. No. The Pilgrims went to Washington, D.C., and they it set really up the White House. It is difficult to take you <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Ever. Wow. Does he ever need to go on this well, trip? I, I, this trip scares me every year. I feel like Christopher Columbus had something to do with Washington, D.C. I know. I No? Mish, can I, you jump I, in I your apologize for and... the uh, public for to not to have taught him anything in the 50 Dude, some odd I, years we've the known each other. The school system failed me. I think your colonoscopy <laughs> went too far. <laughs> I you am weak and I'm on medication. I have other yeah. issues. How much blood you do you have issues? <laughs> a lot. A lot. Um, half. I'm operating second on half trip. a tank. Second, anyway, second, second, second trip. trip. So the second possibility was jumping on a train in Mattoon, Illinois, and cruising down to New Orleans. Doing a train trip down to New Orleans would be kind of fun. Never been. So that was number two. It's been a long. I was the a birthplace of jazz. He said something right. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. Let's that go. Um, and then the third would be heading to. We'd have to work it out with my in-laws because they have a home down in Naples, so they have to give us permission, allowing you two <laughs> in their home. <laughs> well, and uh, going down to Naples, Florida, and uh, kind of catching one of our family vacation spots. Well, I would like to say on that one, that's close to a 16-hour trip. Yeah, we're, that's a long ways with Skeeter in the, the back Skeeter of a van. in the back of a van for 16 hours. Yeah. We barely survived. You guys know I'm right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having this discussion right now. Yeah. I'm just trying to can help you, uh, can you Just talk amongst yourself what? for a second. Can, can, you, can, you just, <laughs> can you just take your voice out for a minute? Uh, we would pick him up. Maybe we could work it out where we pick him up in Georgia. Can we... Can we just tell him to meet us somewhere in Tallahassee? Could, Tallahassee. You, what about? I could fly. He could drive. We'll meet we'll him with fly. a rental car. We could fly just into Tampa and catch up with Flamer. Yeah, I mean, Flamer, Flamer, Flamer and us can drive us down. Yeah, we can meet down there. And we just tell him to meet what us in Tampa. It was you and me and Flamer and Skeeter never went. Done. Okay. Yeah. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> what did you. <laughs> What, what did you come up with? Because I, I wasn't really We've got plans. Attention. We'll discuss later. Yeah, we'll what, what, discuss right. over we'll dinner. We'll listen to it on the playback. Yeah. We'll do a, a double Magic Mountain. More mm. snacks. It would, a Munchy Mountain? Munchy Mountain. Not a Magic Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> Munchy, yeah. yeah. Munchy Mountain. Ma- Ma- Magic Mike. Magic that you Mike. Watch. Which is <laughs> probably one of your favorite. That's the show you watch most of the time. you want to watch. Are we reenacting Magic Mike later tonight? No. 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 Oh, different, yeah. different After guys. After my colonoscopy, no. I did have washboard abs for a little bit there because everything was gone. Oh, one of the last things. Not that we have a list. I'd like your comments about the invention of the heated toilet seat. Oh, that might be the highlight of this trip. I believe the exact word to describe that is game changer. <laughs> yes. Um, I think every home that we're involved in will have within... Yeah months we'll have a heated seat on one toilet it's amazing i i didn't know i needed one until i yeah. had one and now i have to have one yes glorious it is simply <laughs> amazing like, you're like ed mcmahon <laughs> said, yes yes yeah. sir you're <laughs> correct <laughs> That's what... so yeah, get in got... the chopper <laughs> it's a heated seat and it's spectacular it makes you want to just be in there I, if I ever do a colonoscopy again, I'm not doing it unless I have a heated seat. <laughs> Refusing. <laughs> what Arnold say? No. Get a heated seat. Get on the shit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can cut that uh, out. Please, yeah. Uh, Mom, absolutely go, not. <laughs> I'm not going to. Um, I want to apologize. For anything else we need to experience. talk about? Like, did we? Is there something we threw out we that a lot of we topics. didn't we, we didn't, didn't cover a lot for not having anything to talk about? We didn't talk about anything. And yeah. For those of you who did miss us last year during our trip to Cooperstown, we did discuss several times about doing our podcast, and, and guess what? Did. We never did it. Yeah, this is this is a big moment for us. Why didn't we do it last year? And here we are, the night before we leave. Yeah. Finally yeah. doing. We're it. finally doing it. 
that probably can't be published. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. That's just documenting what. Yeah. I don't know. This it's, is the kind of thing. This goes straight to straight to DVD, right? How about we make a pact? What? We listen to this. We play it at the funeral of whoever dies first. Skeeter's funeral. <laughs> like I die first. You guys play this at my funeral. That just got morbid really fast. Um. It's gonna we'll have happen. access. For it. You got to put it in a place where we have access to it because you're going first. Right now, you have it. No, I'll get it to everybody. Oh, it's gonna be posted online. Everybody, I'll get it to everybody. But it, I, here's what I want on my funeral. Hmm? I want one of you two to walk up, hit <laughs> hit play, just play this. Do you have a date in mind? And when it's over, send everybody home because I don't like people. Even when I'm dead, I'm not gonna want to be around people. Even in my cemetery, pick a spot way away from the other holes in the ground because they're going to bother me. I want, I, want, I, want, I want my peace and quiet. Bold. That's bold, Cotton. That's a bold move, Cotton. Yeah, what movie is that from? Scatter your bold. ashes at Disney. Dodgeball. Dodgeball, that's right. Jason Bateman, he's the like young announcer. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. There you go. See? He's he, good. He's getting good. He he's, brings entertainment. You bring... Uh, <laughs> so for those of you out there that actually knew us from high school and stuff like that yes oh we are gosh. still friends and the no, fact that you not. listened through this for an hour no. this is what it's like to be with us 24 7 it's awful. you know what we should do the business we've been talking about colonoscopy no we we sell trips to come with us like people can pay to be a fourth and spend the week with us experience what we provide what happens when they're ready to kill us there's a no-kill policy oh oh wait i forgot we went to the world's largest knife store and oh, i think well speaking of killing <laughs> us <laughs> and i think we all have a fear for our safety because this yeah. place is massive and completely packed with people buying knives and scary guns people. and weapons like seriously and, uh, scary people it was freaky like people should not have access to any of that stuff yeah. oh what about we went to the um moonshine tasting in the wall of small children oh that was awesome laying on the floor while their parents yes, got all lit like, up drunk like, like here's a here's an ipad go play for an yes. hour while i go dress they're doing the shots, shots. <laughs> all these little kids are running around it was they, they need to provide a nursery there was enough they could have made a serious killing on that it's got to be just just southern, southern that was thing. kind of shocking wasn't it yeah i found that strange or that and, and also shocking that kids considered a bar yeah. Yeah. Or the um, That's different. the ice different. cream shop at the front entrance of the world's largest knife store. Yes. Dude. What was it called? Oh, it was like I don't know. Something about the damn ice Stabbies. cream or something like that. <laughs> Come get your damn ice I cream. I think it was something. called Puncture Wound. Puncture <laughs> Puncture Wound. <laughs> it was run out yeah. the wound. There's this ice cream store. Yeah. Right at the main entrance of the knife and gun store. Kids everywhere. No, and it's part it of the building. Like, it's part of that establishment. It wasn't yeah. a standalone or anything. How many of us were man enough to actually leave that place purchasing a knife? Were you two? Nope. I was. I now own a knife. <laughs> Congratulations. A couple of them. What kind of knife is it? It's a knife with freaking snakes all over it. <laughs> Black and silver with snakes I... wrapped around it. Do do. Does anybody out there remember the conversation in which he said this population that is buying knives probably shouldn't be buying knives? That's yes, the way Freaka yes. and I feel right now. But yeah. I own a knife. We're going to play Catch the Knife in Your Eyeball <laughs> later. <laughs> right. I thought that's why I bought the Ninja Stars. <laughs> yes. That was a good idea. Uh, get Ninja Stars. Just throw them at each other. Sorry, Sounds like a great idea. Around. So we've had a number of new experiences. Yeah. I do got to go back to the look. Just watching Skeeter walk across the sky bridge. <laughs> I think there's more shuffling. Dude, more, I'm uh, already wobbly. There's I know. <laughs> well, then your wobbliness should have been counteracted by the wobbliness it was, of the bridge. It, it messed me up. It was amazing. That was that was one of the highlights yeah. of my trip. Was watching that go down and just I didn't I couldn't even react to it. I had no idea I was going to get that reaction out of Skeeter. I didn't either. Uh, we also forgot we went to the first Kentucky Fried Chicken ever. Yes, oh, yes, that was Saw a good start. Colonel Sanders, that was pretty cool. Sanders. <laughs> oh, God. That's Sanders, dude. Sanders. So when I was a kid at Vigo Elementary School of Bulldogs, where I started as point guard in sixth grade. <laughs> go Bulldogs. Right, Nish? Go Bulldogs. Let's go. I scored, 
I scored four points all year. Yeah. First game. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, I looked sweet in that tank top. That Beagle Bulldogs jersey we I had, you niche, were tiny. Yes. still have it. I bet you, you were still so have it. It's in small. Ben's closet. Somehow my mom had it. I'll bet you I think were it was number 13. I we had to turn those ever. back in. No, I was lean and sinewy. But, wow. What does sinewy mean? I think Got it means you? skinny and weak. <laughs> that okay, one, we'll yes. let that one go. But don't okay. look at it too myopically. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Skeeter has pulled out wait. some words this week and has actually used them correctly. I did use myopic, correct? Yes, though. you did. You did earlier. Wait, wait, wait. My Bigo Bulldog story. Go ahead. I don't know where I was going with it. I got Basketball, it. Bigo. I was playing ball, starting for Vigo. Now Four I'm thinking points. about how my cat Lump ran away and came back like six months later in the middle of winter. <clears throat> and then the school burned down. What? My buddy Spencer's dad was the principal. Did it really burn yeah, down? Yeah, Vigo no, burned down when Mark was in it. And they, they pushed all the that. kids out to churches. Oh, I didn't know that. Burned down completely. They rebuilt it. We were in the new school. Huh. Yeah. I think. Isn't that crazy? This is great. Oh, Dolly Parton statue. We saw yes. a Dolly Parton statue. Um, she looks a little bit like Loretta Lynn. She apparently, does look a little bit like Loretta Lynn. According, according to Rico's wife. Maybe less curvy than what you would expect from yeah, a statue. According to Lady Gelb. Mm-hmm. And there were two pictures taken. Hey, we yes. went to the... We went <laughs> They've to been the, deleted. Yeah. <laughs> one, one of them has been deleted. Dolly should never see those pictures. Oh, Bucky's. We go into Bucky's. You guys oh are your gosh. first time at Bucky's, right? Yes. First time at Bucky's. First time at Bucky's. How did I describe this to my wife? <laughs> Imagine the whole city of Vincennes getting gas <laughs> and in the same convenience store at the same time. That's about right. Hey, tell me about that brisket sandwich, though. That brisket sandwich, fresh brisket <laughs> on the butt. <laughs> yeah, but. Didn't it cause you some some yeah, issues it might later? Some issues. It might not have agreed with me like it should have. Especially when he dumped the barbecue sauce in the van. <laughs> I cleaned that up, thank you. And you didn't know about it for the first hour. <laughs> that was funny. The buggies is. Uh, I found it overwhelming. It yes. was very overwhelming. Um, over stimulating. It was very. You know, honestly, pigeon forage and Gatlinburg are the same way. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you call it pigeonberg. Combine the two; they're the same. The pigeon bird or Gatlin We've Forge. actually been in a lot of overwhelming situations on this trip, and then we come yeah. back to our sanctuary treehouse. Yeah, we have a good deal that we can leave and come to peace and quiet. Yeah, it's yeah. been nice. Thing. All right. And by the way, else? yeehaw beer. Yeehaw beer. Oh. Yeehaw beer has been. Yeehaw. High. That's a new find. Yeah. That's thanks to the owners here. And I would also like to thank Frika for bringing my beer that I bought in Cooperstown <laughs> on this trip. <laughs> One year ago today, that expired four months ago, and we drank it. We did. It that, was pretty good. That might have been some of the issues we had today. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was it dumb. didn't taste bad. No, but, but it uh, might have caused issues for a guy whose insides haven't been the right color for a bit. Probably shouldn't drink this. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. I yeah. tell you though, my favorite color right now is golden brown. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Can this get worse? No, nope. it can't. It can't. <laughs> All right, are we done? I I, I don't know of anything else. I got. I think else. we need I'm to be done. Too. We got to be done. Yeah, we should be done for, for, for the sake of that last listener, which <laughs> might be Nisha. <laughs> All right, be done. I, I checked out five minutes ago. You know, I'll guarantee you, Bill listens this whole thing. Oh, for Billster sure. listens the whole thing. Famer will listen to it. My mom will listen. I don't to know. It. Famer finishes. Uh, this last 10 minutes, Famer's out. Yeah, he's probably out. He's That's out. Most people and he's be. normally drunk. Anyway. All right, well, let's wrap it up. Just a reminder that um, get your colonoscopy taken. Yes, very important. Please. But by a, a medical professional only, not someone who just offers. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bad decision. That is a bad idea. Yeah. Last time I checked, your degree was not in that. Yeah. For instance, if a guy on the we street walks up to Nish and says, excuse me, sir. Would you like a colonoscopy? What's your answer? Is this done in a hospital or a back alley? <laughs> it's a back alley. I'm in. <laughs> I knew you would be. All right. Is that it? That's it. That's it. We are All right. Gone, episode um, possibly four or five of Growing Up Alice. We don't have seven, do we? No. Six? Six? No. Two. Just keep shouting out numbers. I have no idea, but it's not very many. Yeah. I'm going to say this is four. 
We need to do more often. Maybe five. We should do more often. We should. Not like this. Super productive. <laughs> this was a bad. One. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Peace All out. Right. Peace, Peace out, out, everybody. Keep it real. <laughs>